What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. You guys have no idea how excited I am to be here right now. It's November 16th, and we are getting so flipping close to ice fishing, I almost don't believe it. Now, you might be thinking that I'm clinically insane. How in the world could there be ice? How are we even close to ice fishing? Are you nuts? No, I'm not nuts. Yesterday, I went out on a search for hours and hours to find ice. We've had some really cold temperatures in northern Wisconsin in certain areas. We've also had some snow, which can be good for ice and it could be bad for finding ice. We've also had some real cold rain. The water temperatures are dropping. Big lakes are not going to be ready yet, obviously, but some smaller lakes could potentially have some ice. Is it going to be walkable ice? I don't know that. Last night, temperatures in northern Wisconsin got into the teens. Um, we've had some cold temps, like I was saying, over the course of the last week or two, and we're getting really, really close. Like I said, I did find a little bit of ice yesterday, but nothing to the full potential that I wanted it to be. Today, I think, is that day. I'm at one of my childhood favorite lakes that Nick and I have been fishing probably since we were 12 or 13 years old. We've been coming to this lake for a long time. We used to come here and bass fish in the summer, and there are some really nice pan fish in this lake too. There's some predator fish as well, and I want to get out there and check it out. Like I said, I don't know what to expect. I don't think there's going to be walkable ice, but I think there will be some. Is the lake going to be completely locked? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead. I got my spud bar with me my chisel we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get out there I am in my work clothes right now because I have to work today but I'm so freaking excited for ice fishing I had to get out here had to film some content for you guys it's been far too long let's get right into this Whew. okay well as you guys can tell we uh, we got a little snow up here in northern Wisconsin not a lot nothing crazy we are at a backwoods lake like I was saying I've been coming up here since I was a young age and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite lakes to hit come ice fishing so i've got my handy dandy spud bar with me here we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna start walking down to the lake again i have no idea what to expect i don't know if we're gonna find ice or not um the goal is to find ice i don't know if i'm gonna be able to walk on it but we're gonna try so let's get down there and let's go do this oh my goodness Holy crap. Dude, this whole lake looks frozen, you guys. Holy crap. You guys, take a look at this. Holy crap, I almost don't believe it. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. So I can't tell how much we've got here, but take a look guys, we have ice. We've got ice. It looks like it's open in some areas over here to the left, but wow, this whole bay right here is completely frozen. All right, so as I'm walking out <clears throat> a little bit closer to the lake here, Obviously, we've got to be really careful. Um, this lake is kind of a bog lake, partially, and uh, <clears throat> in some areas it can get a little bit wet, a little bit dangerous, if you will. Um, but like I said, I've been coming here for a long time, so kind of got an idea of what I'm doing a little bit, at least. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to try and step on it yet. I don't think it's quite that ready, but I do have the spud bar, so I can measure out approximately how much ice we've got. As you can tell behind me, um, it is open a little bit. The whole lake is not locked, but this is this is a good sign. Um, not all the lakes are going to be like this. I'm sure there's other lakes up here in northern Wisconsin that are going to have ice on them. This is just one of the ones that I usually come to first. Um, it's got real dark water, which seems to freeze faster from what I've seen compared to a lot of like really clear lakes. Northern Wisconsin is known for having these really crystal clear bodies of water. And um, right now, this is a very dark, kind of mucky bottom to this lake. I'm mind blown right now, guys. 
This is crazy. Almost the whole darn lake behind me is frozen. I mean, there's a small area that's open, but like by no means is the lake wide open still. A lot of big lakes are gonna be, but this is one of those smaller lakes that, wow, I just, I just can't believe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the GoPro for you guys. Um, I wanna go through and at least chisel out some of this ice, just make a small hole, nothing that's gonna disturb the landing or anything like that, but um, just so that you guys can kind of get an idea of how much ice we're working with. Again, not every lake's gonna be the same, but let's just uh, start chiseling away and see how much we got. Alrighty, well, we're switched over to the GoPro now. Um, one of the things that I'm looking at here, as you can tell, is there's some good ice and there's some bad ice. So, gotta be careful out here. Um, as you get out there farther, the ice is going to get better. Close to shore is not going to be nearly as good. Part of the reason for that is because this ground that I'm standing on right now, this is warm. This ground is not frozen yet. The earth's not frozen up here in northern Wisconsin, okay guys? So when you're close to shore, this area is going to be more dangerous than what it is out there, okay? That ice is going to be thicker. I can darn near promise you that on almost any lake. When you're by the shorelines, you're going to see, look at this right here. See this? Like, yes, there's ice, but pretty much goes right through. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'm going to try and go through, I don't know, the best area to do this. I think I'm just going to go right here, just kind of see what we're working with. Oh, just a little bit further. Ooh, pretty good ice actually. Okay, well, I knocked a good chunk of what I was trying to use into the water. Okay, there we go. Well, I would say that's approximately one inch, give or take a little, might be just over an inch, inch and an eighth. Um, really good ice actually pretty much clear except for the very top layer and the reason you're going to get a little fogginess in that top layer at least for us right now is just because we had some snow that top layer is not the greatest but it, again it's only about probably less than a quarter inch thick up top so a little over an inch of ice and that's just right here on the landing as I go out there it's going to be a little bit more right now not a significant amount more but hey we've got an inch of ice in northern Wisconsin. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to this tree because I don't know what to expect. Don't really wanna go in, but we're just gonna get a little light cracking, I think. Oop, there's the first crack. She can't quite hold me yet, boys. I would recommend having at least two inches before you actually go out there and do it yourself. I'll tell you what. I'm excited to be out here. We found ice. It won't be long, guys. Seriously. I think, looking at the temperatures, today it's supposed to get above freezing, and tomorrow it's supposed to get above freezing, but at night, it's not. It's gonna be be below the freezing point. And I know that Thursday is supposed to get real cold. This weekend has a chance to get real cold. Now, Nick and I are going to be gone over the weekend. Unfortunately, we have some plans <laughs> that does not involve ice fishing. Uh, we're actually gonna be taking a little family friend trip out to Minnesota. Again, not to go ice fishing, even though we want to. Uh, we're going to the Packers Vikings game uh, that's coming up this weekend. So that kind of gives you a timetable as to when this video is filmed. Um, hopefully it should be a good game and a lot of fun, but we're gonna miss it because this is going to be creating ice over the weekend. So I'm expecting if we can't get on ice before that weekend, I would expect by Monday, I think when we would come back, we should have ice. I feel pretty confident in saying that. I don't think there's any way we won't be on ice by Monday, guys. Dude, that sounds crazy. I almost can't believe that, but hey, we're ready for it. We are ready for the challenge. We found ice. Um, no, it's not walkable yet. Please guys, if you're going out there, be safe, do what you gotta do. No, the ice is not quite ready yet, as of today, on this particular lake. Could it be on another lake? Highly doubt it, but it is possible. Um, within the next 24 to 48 hours, could be a completely different story. By next week, will be a completely different story. 
I'm thinking by next week, we are 100% gonna be posting an ice fishing video. I don't know where, it might be here, might be somewhere else, but whew, I'm excited guys. New rods, new reels coming in between Frostbite and PC Fun. Excited to use the new equipment this year. It's here, we're back. I'm sorry it took so long, but we're here. This year was dreadful. Last year, we were walking on ice and ice fishing on Halloween. This year, it took almost till Thanksgiving. But we're here, we're doing it, we're ready. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, leave it for me down in the comment section below. And just to elaborate, no, I'm not going to tell you the name of this lake. No, I'm not gonna probably even tell you the county that I'm in. We've got way too many folks that are hitting our honey holes. I apologize, I cannot tell you the lake. If you wanna find ice, be safe about it. Get out there, do it yourself. The temps are dropping. You have the ability to get off your couch and find ice. Be safe about it. So, like I said, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave us a comment down below. Give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, you've never seen our videos before, go back and watch some ice fishing content right now because it's right around the corner. Make sure to subscribe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Tight lines. Remember yet.